Okay, I'm going to be making a video from start to end on how to get your Phantom 3 text files and get those text files ready to be used in Dashware. So the first thing you want to do is go to uh, this website, thecutter.net and here you're going to log in with your DJI account information and once you log in you'll be able to see all your flights so pick the flight you want uh, which will be the flight from yesterday for me and you want to click download and we're going to save this to my desktop it'll be a zip file okay so now that that's done we'll open up the zip file and in the zip file you'll have a text file now this is the text file that we're going to convert to a CSV and the way we do that is we go to djilogs.com and you're going to hit the upload button we're going to grab our text file and we want to download the comprehensive CSV so you can click on that and now it wants you to save the CSV so we'll do a save as and we'll save this to the desktop okay so that's all done so now here you can see we went from a zip file to a text file and the text file is all uh, encoded and we ended up with a CSV that if you open that up you'll see all the different uh, fields in here okay so now to use to use that file in dashware what you want to do is grab a profile and if you go to dashwaregages.com and if you go down to data profiles uh, if you go to UAV forecast DJI logs and click into there here you can download the uh, comprehensive zip file and we'll download that we'll save that to the desktop and there's also a custom data fields zip and you want to save that to your desktop also okay and if you go back to the end uh, the home of dashware gauges so from the dashware main uh, page if you go to dashware discussions there's a sticky here where to place data profiles and gauges and here you'll find out where to, to place those files in dashware for you for you to use your uh, data with dashware okay so now that you have everything together let's go and open up dashware and we'll just do a file new project overwrite that and what we'll do is we'll grab a video file uh... No, no, we can just grab any video file uh, that doesn't really matter and then we'll grab the data file. Now the data file is on my desktop and it's a CSV. Now notice once I hit open it automatically chooses the UAV forecast comprehensive file and you can hit add. Now when you go to synchronization you'll see uh, my flight path. Let's just open this window a little bit more so you can see it and if you move the data from the flight path you can see the data on the screen is is changing uh, and 
and we can just grab a different uh, gauge for now on it. We'll bring this gauge in and we'll make it larger just so you guys can see it. And the same thing. Once you're moving your data line, you can see all the data populate. Okay, hope this helps.